I'm not sure if that's a thunderstorm or if David might be in his garage TIG welding again. Alright, today's project is a fire pit. I got this, I got a 4 by 8 sheet cut in half. And to make all the cuts, I'm, all, all I'm going to do is use a piece of angle iron for a straight edge. You know, uh, tap on each side. And I'm going to use a skill saw with a steel demon blade. And of course, I'm going to be using a face shield and some gloves. Alright, so I kind of have it marked out. But I'm not really going to use that line. What I am going to do is I already know my, my saw's base leaves an inch and a half. So I'm just going to set this back an inch and a half more than I need. Okay, so I got my plates uh, cut out. Four of them. This, the dimensions are going to be... I already forgot. The dimensions I'm looking for is for the top to be like a square uh, 24 inches by 24. And the height of these is 18 inches. Anyway, so what we got to do now is figure out how much uh, angle that I want this. So instead of trying to be fancy and trying to figure out actually in degrees of angle, that's stupid. What, what's not stupid is just it's too smart. Leave that kind of thinking for engineers. We're not engineers. Really, the way to do this Figure out how big you want the bottom. Let's say you want... Okay, since I have a piece that's left over that's a little over 16 inches wide. Oh, yeah, I said I made these 18. I actually made them 16. I forgot. Whatever. Uh, okay, so I have a piece left over that's about 16 inches wide. So what I want to do is make the bottom 16 inches wide or 16 inch square. And to do that, I'm going to cut these... Just like I said, cut it where, you know, where the bottom is 16 inches long. So, let me do some quick math. So you need to take off four and four, and then we should be good. So that's four inches. Four inches and four inches. Do a cut like this. Just do the, do the same thing, but measure back an inch and a half from your line, and you should hit it pretty close. Or actually, not an inch and a half, depending on your saw, whatever your base width is on your saw. Line's an inch and a half. Okay, so I jumped ahead. I went ahead and cut these out. And uh, what I'm going to do now is go over the edges with the grinding disc and then a flat disc to clean up the edges that are going to be welded. And look at that perfect edge. Looks like a machine did it. Alright, now that I got uh, these all cleaned up, I'll wipe them with a little bit of acetone as well. It's time to tack these together. Alright, so I've got the mats in place. Just set it up like this. I completely changed my mind about TIG welding. Don't do it. It sucks. I have to turn the fan off. It's probably 100 degrees outside today. <laughs> I burned it up and all I did was like four or five tacks. You can see how good my fit up is. It's almost perfect. Like you can't even see daylight through that gap. See that first one, how I got that oxidation? I'm pretty sure the fan blew my. Uh, Yes, it looked like the fan was blowing my, my gas away, so that's why I had to stop and turn the fan off. Alright, I got it held in place with magnets. It's not exactly lining up perfect, 
but I could squish it closed, tack it. And this is how the whole fit up was, the whole thing. Nice, tight fit. No gap. All right, now I got it all tacked up. I'm just gonna flip it over. No point in blinding everybody. I'm just gonna come back when I weld some of this or make the bottom of it or whatever. But before I do the handles, I'm gonna go ahead and weld the top on. I guess my best bet is to clean it like that. And just roll it around as I clean it. Okay, so now I have the bottom sitting on there where I want it. I'm just gonna tack it in place real quick. All right, I just had to stop to show this off real quick. I just started using Pulse the other day. Pretty new at it. And that's probably one of my best beads ever. It's actually too shiny to really see it, but it's like... All right, so this took way longer than expected. Got all the welds done. Okay, I'm gonna make some handles out of this uh, one inch square tube. I'm gonna make the handles a foot long. Take it over here to my chop. And I'm gonna take it over here to my chop saw and cut it real quick. The other pieces I'm gonna cut them two and a half. I'll just add a quarter inch, that'd be all right. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go ahead and set them on this plate, which is probably flat as I can get, and weld them on like that. First things first, I gotta drill some holes at the one inch mark. With the hole right here, I'm gonna overlap this a half inch over so that hole should be in the center. I'm just gonna guesstimate where the middle is. Center punch. Center punch. I'm going to use a Dremel with a small rock just to clean out the inside. Put it on medium. Alright, I got my handles welded on. Kind of an ugly job, but whatever, I don't care. Alright, this is how I'm going to do the legs. They're not really much legs, just, just something kind of space them. Put four of them on each one of those lines. Uh, I cut those out of eighth inch 2x2 two two square. It, was, it looked really rusty, but I cleaned it up right there where I'm going to weld it at. <laughs> I kind of need to just skip forward to when I'm done because uh, if I don't, this video is going to be way too long. Alright, I got my four legs welded on, or spacers or whatever. I'll weld it up about like that. Not perfect, but it looks alright. There it is. I actually think that little pipe, uh, that little tube at the bottom sticking out looks kind of dumb. Uh, oh well, it's too late to change it. The only thing it really needs is it needs uh, some type of mesh or some type of grate to hold to get air under it and maybe some holes. I might make a part two where I actually, uh, you know, finish this thing up by making a grate and maybe drilling some holes and painting it. Okay, let's take one last look at it. I'm not really too happy with the design, but it's done. Maybe this could help inspire somebody to build something, you know, uh, changing it up a little bit. Either way, if you found this video helpful, please uh, like and subscribe.